Hi everybody. Ten years ago today I decided to buy a MacBook on eBay. I needed to be able to run Logic Pro and I did not have an Apple computer. It arrived broken, so I contacted the seller, got myself a partial refund, and used that partial refund in order to buy some parts to fix it. I got it to work, and when I no longer needed to run that session, I resold the machine because I personally did not want to be in possession of an Apple product, and I made about two to three hundred dollars of profit. I thought to myself, I'm broke, I just lost my job, but I made two to three hundred dollars for 15 minutes of my time. Let's try doing that again. And that snowballed over the past 10 years into the business that I have today that supports seven employees and has a YouTube channel with almost 700,000 subscribers that have a business in a name with a worldwide reach and that teaches component level repair to millions of people every month, which I think is pretty cool. But I still remember back uh, in 2009 when I just had first started my business how desperate things were at times. I remember living in, in, in an apartment while I was saving up to get an ultrasonic cleaner like the crest that I have behind me. I was living in a place that was infested with termites. And when I called the landlord to, dis to complain about it, he says, like, you know, what's your problem? They're not, at, what are you, Pinocchio? They're not after you. As if I should not complain about there being termites all over my apartment because I'm not made of wood. Typical Brooklyn slumlord. And I think about all the things that I've done since then, all the things I've done that have been stupid, all the decisions I've made that were wrong, all the things that I've done that were good. And what sticks out above everything else and what I have the most pride in is being able to educate and teach all of you how to share in the success that I have and how to do what it is that I do. Giving people the confidence when they watch somebody as stupid, ignorant, incapable, and incompetent as myself fix something successfully. Giving people that confidence of, wow, if that dumbass on the screen can do it, then surely I can try it, has given me a sense of accomplishment and pride that I was able to encourage somebody to live up to their full potential. And it's something I wouldn't be able to do without all of you. Hearing stories from people that had crappy jobs like I did or lived in crappy circumstances like I did who now have a living wage in a non-rent seeking fashion by taking products that are sitting in school districts or recycling centers that are in a closet or about to get compounded and crushed into trash finding those machines refurbishing them and then selling them to people who otherwise would not be able to afford a new one you are creating value in society not only are you making, uh, creating value in society, you're making money off of creating value in society while exercising and using your brain. And that is something that I am so happy to share in vicariously and that I'm so proud and humbled to be a part of. And if there's any accomplishment over the past 10 years of being in business on this anniversary, that means anything to me. It's knowing that I've shared in that success. And... I have to say thank you because it wouldn't be possible without all of the viewers that are watching this video right now. It's also another anniversary in that 10 years ago, uh, today, I turned 20. And today, I'm turning 30. And I look back on it, and some of the things that I'm really, really happy about, uh, other than teaching, is also just watching the culture shift slowly, pushing back against the tide of not owning any of our devices. I see how the word refurbish is slowly being redefined as counterfeiting. I see how the words own are slowly turning into lease. And I like being able to wake people up to what is going on so that they can start to slowly push back against it and spend money with companies that are not doing that to them. I like seeing things like Motorola decide they're going to work with iFixit to provide them with, with kits and parts and whatnot so that they can actually do repairs on their products more easily. And I like seeing people find the craft of repair fun so that maybe when they grow up and they become... Uh, chief engineers at a company and when they get into management that they will never ever ever act in the manner that the fruity company does and you know I just wanted to say thank you very much for all of that and thank you very much for allowing me to be a part in something that I take so much pride in and uh, I just that was it I'm gonna go off and uh, celebrate my birthday get myself some dinner and as always I hope you learned something